What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be meal prepping some chicken. Keeping it simple with some skinless chicken breast. It doesn't boil about two days. I don't have a lot of supplies, so I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do with this yet, but I'm going to try to put something together. Just running some basic little red pepper, little garlic sriracha, little garlic herb and pepper. So we're going to throw that in the oven, and I think I'm going to go with quinoa as the secondary, but see if I have some noodles as well. On a quick side note, I didn't put any tinfoil down this time because I'm feeling lazy. Usually I put tinfoil down, it makes the cleanup a lot easier, but right now, got a lot of dishes to do anyway, so I'm going to get to that while this is bacon. All right, so we're going to hit the quinoa game. Um, just going to put it on the old pan, stove top it. Honestly, I never measure how much water I do. I never measure how much rice, quinoa, noodles I do. I just throw everything in there, and then honestly, I just hope for the best or just try to make it work. Let's just hope it works. So for the quinoa, we threw a little bit of soy sauce in there, a little bit of some chicken broth. Get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Put the chair up so the dogs will come in here. Anyways, a little bit of chicken broth, a little soy sauce. We'll see how that tastes. Gotta get that thing boiling until we start cooking it though. All right, quinoa is done. We start loading that into some plates. Count the calories up and we'll see how much we get to. So we got three meal preps tapped out full of the quinoa. Only one left that didn't have it, unfortunately, but that's okay. Chicken's still cooking. I'm probably going to calculate about 230 calories per cup of quinoa. So, you know, sitting at each one that has two, 460. Math. So, 460 calories per, 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 per meal prep tray, which means at a chicken breast, if it's like a four ounce, what, 130 calories. So, you know, we're sitting only at about like 500 calories each meal prep. If I want to get to my goal of 2,800 calories per day, I'm going to have to eat five, six of these things, that's insane. Probably won't be able to do that. So now I have to figure out how to add extra calories to this stuff. Chicken's looking absolutely delicious. Cut that stuff open, make sure we can fit in all the meal preps, and then go from there. Put little tiny cuts in each of these just so when I do eat it, it makes it a lot easier. So we got everything kind of figured out here. Got four quick meals. Um, like I said, it's going to be about 230 per cup of quinoa, about 460 total, plus another 30, 490, plus 100, 590, about 600 calories per dish. Um, that's not enough. So I'm going to make that better by just going to the store right now after actually going to go quick, quick workout and then I'm going to go to the store, get some meat, get some more meat, and then hopefully we can put like some sandwiches together or some quesadillas or something for the morning breakfast. I have secured the bag. So what we're going to do is cook, cook it? No, we're going to put it all together in the morning and we'll make like a little meal prep to take to work with us, but I'll film that in the morning so I figure out what I exactly want to do with it. I forgot eggs too, unfortunately, but that's okay. Probably make some quick sandwiches and then we'll count up all the calories for you. Turkey breast, cheese, six pieces of bread here. And I'm just going to bring it all to work and I'm just going to slang some sandies at work, just like the old blimpy days, because I used to be a sandwich artist, so this stuff's not hard for me. But that's all added in some extra calories. We'll count those up, too. I'm thinking like 100 calories per piece of bread, like total of like 460 calories in the entire turkey breast thing. So trying to keep it up like 2,500 on a non-lifting day. So we'll see how many calories we can get by the end of the day. So I ended up going with like a breakfast burrito. Obviously, I'm going to get some eggs and stuff, but I feel like that's going to supplement well with the chicken and the quinoa. So once I finish that up, I'll show it off. Not ideal. I was hoping to make like a, an omelet, but it all goes down the same. It's a decent little meal prep to add to the chicken and quinoa. You know, count all that stuff up. Count all that stuff up tomorrow and kind of figure out how much get out of it for to work. Catch you guys soon.